Hey, players. So I'll start off with a simple question. Have you ever felt like you were in love? Ah, the sweet feeling of love. There's nothing stronger in this world. But sometimes love turns out to not be love. In that instance, it could potentially fall more into the category of lust. So what is the difference? Is it possible for a person to be more drawn to becoming a hopeless romantic or a- Or what? A sleazeball looking for a lusty hot slut? Is that what you were gonna say? This is the just me. I decided to post this question to Facebook to see what everyone else had to say. Whoa, look at these, check this out. Look at this one, this is a winner right here. The first sign of love is that you wanna spend quality time together without it just being about sex. It's almost as if you just enjoy the other person's presence. You can sit around with them and just have fun. Yeah. Bro, that's the lamest shit I ever heard. Hold on, I never said you couldn't enjoy the other person's body. Don't get me wrong, I'm sure you love getting yours. The first sign of lust, you're totally focused on a girl's looks and body. Think about it. Why am I gonna worry about someone else's life? I gotta take care of my own. <coughs> Mr. Vane. Yo, I love that song, cause you know it was written about me. The second sign of love is that time has no meaning. You can literally get lost in hours of conversations with this person. That sounds easy enough. I could spend hours talking. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about spending hours talking about yourself. It's like the flow is just there. Your words gracefully mesh so well with theirs that conversation just never stops. Before you know it though, the sun is already coming up. You spent the entire night all the way into the morning talking to this person. What a wonderful moment. To be able to share a sunrise with someone, it's just so magical. Sign of lust number two, you're interested in smashing at a girl, but you don't care about conversation. Girls like to talk forever. They never know when to shut up. What about talking during sex? Yeah, all right, I guess in that instance she can talk, but only if she's talking about me, because if she's not, I think we're gonna have a problem. The third sign of love is when you honestly try to listen to someone's feelings and try to do everything you can to make them happy. Hold on, why would I want to hang out with the broad afterwards? What are we gonna talk about, makeup? <sighs> anyway, it's hard sometimes for people to express their feelings, so when someone is truly opening up to you, that is a sign that they really care. The third sign of lust, and I know you guys can agree with me, is that girls like to live in fantasy worlds. They don't want to talk about their feelings, they just want to see the mystery behind the man. They eat that shit up, I don't know why girls are stupid. Be realistic man, eventually she's going to catch feelings. Listen brah, if I tell a girl from the get go that I'm not serious and I'm not looking for a relationship, and later on down the line she begins to catch feelings, I believe that's your fault. The fourth sign of love is when the other person is truly trying to motivate you to become a better person. Now that I can agree with. Every girl I get with should be my personal cheerleader. Alright, at least we see eye to eye on that one. And by that, I mean I'm the quarterback and she's the one running the play. And by play, I mean with my dick. See, you just had to ruin it. The number four sign of lust is that right after sex you want to get the hell out of there. You don't want to stick around and cuddle and do all that gay shit. I ain't even sticking around so I can see how ugly you look in the morning. Hold on, so you're opposed to morning bacon and blowjobs? Word. I guess there's always time for bacon and blowjobs in my book. And the fifth sign of love is that the other person is actually thrilled to introduce you to their friends and family. Sometimes people are a little embarrassed by their family, so you know if they're bringing you over to step in the right direction. Yeah, alright, I'll meet a family. But only if the mother is hot, cause if she is, bro, you know I'm gonna tap that. I don't know if I'd advise going after the girl's mom while you're with her. Maybe not the best idea. The fifth sign of lust is that the other person knows that you're just lovers, you ain't friends. Why are you trying to make it out to be more than it is? I don't care about your family, I don't want to hang out with your friends, I just want to meet up with you, get my nut off, and that's it, call it a day. I don't know about that one. Unless you're Zach Morris, it sounds kind of hard to live a double life. Double life, get out of here. No girl is important enough to be on the same equation as the Jish. As always, love, peace, and No, 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 buddy, that's my line. As always, guys, love and peace. Come on, man, you gotta be able to measure a girl for more than just her body. Nuh-uh. Never gonna happen. Uh-uh. Intelligence, personality, wit, don't any of those things matter? A girl needs two things in order for me to get with her. Fair enough, what are those two things? She's gotta suck the D, and she's gotta have a vagina. I think you might actually have a point there.